Today we have Lino Idea Pad 510-15 ISK NM A751 region number 1.0. Okay, in this laptop, the laptop is not coming on. If you see the, I already plugged the adapter in this lab, uh, motherboard, but the laptop motherboard is not coming on. Okay, so uh, let me check first adapter voltage. Okay, before we check uh, any voltage on our motherboard, so we have to check first uh, adapter voltage. So I'm going to check the adapter voltage on the <coughs> multimeter. So so in this case i am putting 200 volt dc volt uh, multimeter setting okay uh, you see the voltage is perfect the adapter voltage is perfect so i am going to put the uh, adapter on motherboard so now we have to check you see when i plug uh, switching the power on of switch is also not coming on so we have to check the voltage in okay so the voltage in first we have to check the behind the dc check the voltage uh, okay or not so you see here the 20 volt is okay so in the behind the dc check the voltage is coming so there is no problem with the dc check so now i'm going to check the continuity behind the dc check to where is going to uh, like uh, where is going first on a mosfet which mosfet is connecting so we can check Thoroughly and uh, perfect. So you see here, one of the uh, MOSFET have connectivity. See, okay, there is zero zero. That means that behind the DC jet to on this MOSFET coming straight. Con uh, con uh, continuity. You see the continuity is perfect on this MOSFET. So uh, region being why I am checking the continuity behind DC jacks to this MOSFET because I want to verify the uh, track, track is good or not. So behind the DC jack to here, the supposed be voltage come uh, coming perfectly. So uh, I am going to check that voltage first. So if you see the voltage on this point, here is the one D, uh, jack point, the jack point voltage is okay. but some voltage like 3.3 is coming but the 5 volt is not coming you see here the 5 volt is not coming but the 3.3 voltage is perfectly coming okay now i'm going to check the power on of switch voltage the power on of switch voltage also is coming on it's supposed to be 3.3 but it's coming 3 volt so it's also okay there is no problem sometimes it's something missing that's why it will become like this but you see when i plug uh, when i switch the uh, power on of switch the fan is also is not coming on okay now now <clears throat> let me close the view so you can understand you see here what here is one that point is called pj406 uh, on on this jack point the voltage 20 volts supposed to come because the voltage in here on on this uh, jack point on the controller ic the 5 volt controller ic is going input then controller ic will receive enable voltage then is supposed to be put output 5 volt on this one uh, this coil okay and the coil number is like uh, <clears throat> pl402 Okay, the, so PL402 supposed to be 5 volt, but is there is no 5 volt, and right now, and um, see here also 20 volt coming. This is enable pin, so enable voltage also perfectly coming. Okay, now in this video, I'm going to show how we're going to step by step to solve this problem. This is is this motherboard is not coming on. Okay, and here is the one MOSFET. It's called PQ one three one one zero. This MOSFET receiving voltage from PL one zero one and one zero two. This PL the line filter is behind the DC jack. Okay. Let me show you on data set. Okay, so here 
check DC in okay so here is the DC jack and here is PL101 and PL102 the DC jack voltage come from straight here and then pass from these two filters it's going voltage in and the voltage is going here like if you are going to put here PQ311 okay so the PQ311 here the MOSFET but you see here the voltage in then the voltage receiving this P, uh, MOSFET called P, PQ311 on his drain when the gate switching when the gate uh, start switching then we receive the voltage on source this whole whole uh, source is connected with another MOSFET source okay so when we receive source voltage it will go on another MOSFET source and at the that time source receive the voltage and the gate also have voltage because the PQ311 uh, gate voltage is same gate voltage coming to PQ312 gate okay so same time we receiving uh, gate voltage to these two MOSFETs okay so when the we receive this MOSFET gate voltage we going to receive then uh, drain voltage also and this drain voltage is going to straight on this so drain voltage going on this check PJ301 if you see if we're going to check straight on this here PJ301 if we receiving the 20 volt on this jack that means this all the step is okay we no need to check here okay so if you see here on the picture here is the PQ 3110 here is the PQ 312 and here is the jack PJ301 if you see here I write down also PQ3110 voltage in from this then PQ312 from voltage getting 311 PQ311 then the DC jack from this okay so if the voltage come here on this portion that means we receiving our we with this component like this MOSFET this MOSFET and that uh, uh, registers zero register or line filter is okay okay and how we get the gate voltage from this MOSFET so here is the IC this IC is work for like power and uh, battery charging okay this two for the power okay when the switching the voltage it will be work okay and here is two MOSFET for the battery charging PQ316 and PQ317 today is not topic about the battery charging today topic about laptop is not coming on okay so this chapter I will be show you later or another video on the battery charging but on this video let me tell you here is our battery charging voltage so here if you see here uh, PQ317 and here PQ316 okay so we're going to check here 316 okay so here the 316 you see here V20 BT plus and the both have voltage on the drain no sorry not both but on this uh, MOSFET is receiving the drain 20 volt then switching via this IC the charging IC okay and then you then we receiving battery charging okay you see here charge battery plus and here one MOS, MOSFET we call him we call this MOSFET discharge MOSFET okay so PQ314 okay if you see on this picture here the PQ314 so this is the MOSFET to discharge battery means 
when we receiving the battery voltage is coming on this then divide all the circuit here the coil is 5 volt coil this coil have 3.3 volt okay that means this all are our regulator supply 3.3 and 5 volt so on this circuit if you see here there is two uh, parts for 5 volt and this is the 3 volt <clears throat> there is no separate one con uh, there is no like one controller ic to both here is the two different different ic to control these two different power supply okay so on this jack if you see here here is the uh, pj401 this is the jack point and here also pj401 here is 405 401 on the both we suppose we receive 20 volt from the battery or adapter whatever we receiving here okay on a pj301 we also receiving here we we suppose we receive here okay so from here to if you see this is the connected on this line and then the line going on this controller so voltage in for this controller is 20 volt from this uh, jack point to here and also the voltage for this controller is same okay but on this ic we have to check one more thing oh, five so i'm going to put here pj 405 okay here the pj405 when we receive the voltage uh, uh, for this ic the pu 42 uh, 402 is voltage coming from uh, voltage in and is going on this ic pin number 2345 okay so when we receive this when we receiving this voltage on these pins then we have to check the voltage enable pin also there is supposed to be 20 volt coming on this enable pin if in case we not receiving this enable pin voltage that means the io controller have a problem and then we not receiving 5 volt uh, from this ic output so if we not receiving voltage we have to change or check the io controller straight from here if you see here the PL402 here is the PL402 from here to here when only if you check this two supply voltage in and enable and this is the uh, okay the voltage should be okay on both uh, voltage in and the enable then maybe if you know receiving the voltage on a on a coil on a PL402 so that means maybe the voltage have a problem uh, with this controller maybe the, the controller is not good or somewhere have sorting like this capacitor or maybe somewhere where the 5 volt going like LAN USB or somewhere else okay the same thing we have to apply on 3.3 voltage also so so I'm going to check the voltage on 5 volt coil so you see here the 5 volt is not coming on so i'm going to check continuity the capacitor or something sort or not because the 5, li five volt line is not uh, giving output voltage so i'm going to start checking behind coil capacitors because sometimes because most of the time this capacitor have problem is going sorting you see here is is sort on the multimeter the zero zero value coming that means the capacitor is sort here is a four capacitor on that four capacitor maybe one two or maybe four of capacitor is sort that why that is why i'm going to check one by one capacitors uh, which one is sort so i'm going to remove one by one capacitors and if when i remove one i will go check the capacitor is sort or not going to check the pad uh, where the capacitor is the pad is sort or not 
if the capacitor don't have any problem uh, then I will go to check another capacitor if have any problem on that capacitor so I will replace the capacitor okay I am going to replace the capacitor and then I'm going to check another one if it is sort if it is not showing sorting or anything so going to put on my machine to attach adapter or see here the capacitor is I remove the capacitor the capacitor is out and is also the same value 0 0 on the thread there is 300 something value coming so there is no uh, more sorting on 5 volt line and uh, now I'm going to replace the capacitor on that capacitor uh, we can put same size capacitor uh, to check another motherboard to same physical size and replace this capacitor is not matter is what is the value because the size right now if we are going to put the same size or small bigger size it is okay because there if you go check the particular value is uh, is very hard to find this kind of uh, capacitors to on a motherboard because then we have, uh, we have to go check one by one uh, capacitor value on a motherboard and it's like very long work and very very tight then we go tired so i'm going to remove same size capacitor on different motherboard and replace it with same bed on our motherboard okay so you see here one capacitor i replace and also if i now put here capacitor it will be work perfectly but uh, it's good to replace the capacitor don't leave like that okay so now i'm going to connect with adapter to this motherboard and if you see the fan is uh, working fan is on so that means the motherboard is on now i'm going to check voltage as per this image what i tell you before so now if you check on a 5 volt line you see oh sorry i put on a put on a volt now i'm going to check the voltage on a 5 volt line you see here 5 volt coming so we're receiving here 5 volt Now I remove the adapter and then going to attach my this laptop screen to verify the display is coming okay or any problem. Some people told me say I have to make video in English. So this video is first time in my YouTube channel, so I'm making in English. So if it is somewhere mistake where I'm talking in English or something, just forget me or forgive me yeah thanks for your understanding i'm going to connect with adapter on this machine and you see the fan also working there is no require to power on off switch because we uh, we remove the CMOS cell the CMOS cell is not connected with the motherboard and you see here checking media because we not attach the hard drive that is why this one is also coming now is everything working good all part is working good you see i cannot connect the CMOS battery here and also everything working good now thank you for watching this video we will meet next video jahin